What up, guys? How you doing? We're gonna play some water hazard today. No, not really. We're gonna talk about the submarine. We're gonna go under the water in the submarine. So, what's the submarine about? Well, it goes cha 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 Submarines all over the place. All right. So, what is the submarine good for? What is he gonna be? What is he gonna? What is he gonna do? Well. There's only, there, I don't know, the submarine's a little bit weird, because there's like a few things that are like good with the submarine, there's a few things that are kind of weird and bad with the submarine, but overall I think it's a pretty regularly even tower. And I'm going to explain all the nonsense with having to do with the submarine, including the advanced intel nonsense that we all get confused about. So, I have to explain to you guys that this is my opinion, so if you don't like my opinion, I'm sorry, please go down in the comments and complain, because I love reading the comments where people complain. So... Submarines. All right, the zero zero submarine. Is he useful? Absolutely not. He's very very low amount of popping power. Uh, he can pop through only one balloon per shot, and he's just not good. So you got a few yellow balloons sticking through here. Just gonna go right through the entire place. Submarine's gonna be worthless. The good thing about the submarine is no matter what he is, he is always heat seeking. So he or balloon seeking. He's always gonna seek those balloons out, kind of like a ninja. Not quite as amazing as a ninja because the seeking shurikens like seek the crap out of those balloons. They find those balloons. These things kind of like do a slow little curvy wervy thing to make sure they try and hit the balloons. Then when you move up to the next upgrade here, let's do barbed. Let's do the left-sided upgrades first because those are kind of weird. And then we'll go over the right-sided better upgrades at last. So barbed darts. What does it do? Well, it makes it so you can pop three balloons per shot. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh crap. Got uh, through three balloons. Oh crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully that works a little bit better, I think. We got five on this side, five on that shot, and it looks like three balloons per shot. So the barbed darts triples his popping power for a reasonable amount of up for a reasonable amount of money. Really not that bad. Uh, personally if I was gonna get any upgrade for the uh, submarine, I would definitely get the barbed darts. Just just get it. It's worth it. Then we move up to Advanced Intel, which is the most confusing upgrade of them all. What does it mean? How does it work? Well, first off, it's only a $500 upgrade, so it's really not very expensive at all. You know, it's pretty reasonable. You know, you're used to like something like this being kind of crazy. Because what you can do is you can make his range become the range of every single tower that you put down. So, for example, I have a Dart Monkey over here. His range is going to be the same range as this dart monkey. So when we get uh, a yellow balloon sneaking through over there on the right side over there, that submarine is going to try and attack it. He's going to try and attack it. It does not mean that he has range over everything on the entire screen, only where your towers are. But at the same time, if you, for example, go like this, 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 you know, we got range over pretty much the entire screen. And now you do have range over the entire screen with every single one of your submarines. You know, if you got, you know, a submarine there and a submarine over here, I don't see any spot in the entire map where you don't have range except for, like, maybe, like, right in this bottom corner right over here. Oh, man. This little bottom corner there and this little bottom corner there. Those are really the only spots where you don't have range with my, you know, thousand dollars of dart monkeys. So now every every single balloon that I send out is going to be able to get hit by that advanced intel submarine. Still not very much popping power, but that's okay. At least he has range over the entire screen. Then we're going to move on up to the other upgrades beyond the advanced intel. Actually, no, I need, I need to talk about this a little bit more. All right, so the advanced intel. Like, it's a little bit confusing when people are like, well, does it hit camos? It only hits camos if you have a tower that can hit camera detection in that range of that tower. For example, you got a wizard with the monkey sense over here. If a camo balloon comes out on the right side, which let's hope it comes out on the right side, it does. It cannot be seen until you go by the wizard or just not be seen at all. If it comes out on the left side, you're going to have both of your towers, including the submarine, attacking that camo. Now, camo leads are a different story. The uh, wizard can pop the camo leads, but the uh, submarine cannot. At the moment, at least. You cannot at the moment. You're going to have to get a higher level upgrade on the right side, which is really expensive to be able to pop camel leads. So that's probably the biggest weakness of his camel detection, is that uh, camel lead weakness. Now, also, this is kind of a weird upgrade, is the submerge and support. I don't really like it at all. I, I never recommend it. It's only $500, which makes it seem like it's an okay upgrade, but not really very good at all. First off, you have to put it in a spot where you're going to get a lot of... Uh, range around your submarine so you know you kind of have to plan ahead and you'd want to get it in like a spot like this and then 
what you do is submerge it. So you, it's kind of like a uh, first strong, last thing. First long, close, strong, submerge. And you put it underneath there, and then look, you got this little green thing around him. Now the way this works is that only balloons that go over that little green thing right there are going to be quote-unquote decamelized. So let's send out some pinks in here. You can tell it gets decamelized if it gets hit by that green thing right there. But other than that, if it does not get hit with the green thing, it doesn't even count as being decamelized. It's not in the range of that green circle. It's hit by that green little arm coming out of the submarine, which makes it kind of sad. It makes it even worse than it should be. Again, it's a five hundred dollar upgrade, so I understand, but it's not worth it. And also, it takes away his ability to attack. He doesn't attack these things anymore. It's terrible. He, I mean, it does help for uh, camel lead popping power because now we have. Uh, we can decamelize these leads, especially these uh, slower balloons. We can easily decamelize them. Now, also, another thing is you actually kind of want the arm to go away from the balloons because that'll actually help him uh, get more decamelized balloons. So, if we could do that that way, it'll actually decamelize a lot more balloons. Watch out. Check out these pink ones now. I'll get rid of this guy really quick. Check out these pink ones. They will all get decamelized by that submarine. It also does seem like it takes. A little bit of time to get decamelized. It's not like an instantaneous. Oh, it gets decamelized. No, it's like the radar has to like come back or something. I don't know how they did, worked it out, but that's like the way I think about it. It's like they get it takes time for it to happen. So, is emergency support upgrade? No, it's not good. Now, I don't even have this upgrade yet, but you can activate submerging. Uh, activate submerge using target option to detect camo, pop balloons, and reduce water tower cooldowns by 15%. And it does not stack. Is it effective? It's really cheap, but not really that effective. As you can tell, I don't use submarines enough to even have this upgrade yet. So, I mean, kind of like a monkey village type upgrade. It's more of a support tower than anything else. And we don't usually like support towers in this game. You know, we usually want to have attack towers. And if we already use a support tower, it's probably going to end up being a monkey village, not a submarine. So, submarine left sided upgrades, they're like poop. I don't like them at all. I, I, I dislike them extremely. First two upgrades are okay, but beyond that, no, I wouldn't recommend them, guys. All right, now let's move on to the right side of the upgrades. These are more interesting. So you got twin guns. So first of all, you would probably want to get barbed darts because you're going to pop three balloons per shot. Whereas twin guns is going to make you go from one to two, and it's more expensive. So definitely not worth to get twin guns first. Get barbed darts first, then get twin guns. And then we move up to the awesome upgrade, which is air burst darts. Check out this air burst darts versus these rainbows. Check them out, guys. There's gonna be a lot of balloon poppages going around in here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't upgrade the airburst darts yet. You can tell the airburst darts pops a lot of balloons. Is it amazing? No, but it is very good for the amount of money that you're spending. You're only spending $750 to get this much popping power. It's worth it. If you're gonna get a submarine, airburst darts is the way to go. Also, we do not even have this barb dart yet. So you have barb darts plus airburst darts, which is gonna cause even more poppages to happen. It's good. It's good. And again, they're all heat seeking. They're all gonna try and seek those balloons. Then we move up to ballistics missiles. So this is the only way you can pop camel leads if you do end up getting uh, advanced intel with like some sort of you know camel detection tower in their range. You can do that with the ballistics missile. Other than that, ballistics missile is okay, but I really wouldn't say get it too much. I mean, it's okay versus these uh, balloons, but versus Moabs, no. On the other hand, though, you know what the good thing about this submarine is, is or this good thing about the missile is, is it is infinite range, so it automatically can go anywhere on the screen, which is kind of nice. You don't even need that advanced advanced intel. You can just automatically seek it out and hit it. So that's the cool thing about that. Um, then, beyond that, hmm, we don't have the upgrade yet, but I can tell you what it does. It's an ability. All it does is it can instantaneously pop any balloon. That's all it does. Pretty darn expensive. I think it's about fifteen thousand dollars or so i think it's about fifteen thousand dollars and you can just be like oh you know what is oh my god's popping out boom first strike ability dead so it's that easy to defeat his oh my god it doesn't happen very often but you can do it especially on level like 85 or like impoppable level 85 getting these first strike submarines awesome now at the same time it does not need to be the first strike it does not need to be like oh you hit a balloon before you hit it with his first strike ability it doesn't work anymore it's not like that they, they're, they're chillax about it. they're just like as soon as it hits a balloon instantaneously pops it whether it's his oh my god bfb moab or any of those other crappy balloons in between or anything below it's gonna pop that thing and it's gonna be pretty darn sweet when you look at my submarine you're thinking like oh crap he's really not that amazing 
I don't know, people really love him in battles, which I'm going to talk about battles for just a few minutes, just because I feel like people really are interested in the submarine in battles, because it's the newest tower. Do I think it's overpowered? No, I don't. I actually don't think it's overpowered. I think the submarines are actually not even the best thing to use by far. I think there's a lot of other better combinations in there, and the only thing that people think submarines are overpowered, or the only reason why people think submarines are overpowered, is because you can defeat Rigor Rainbows with them, and because you can use just like six submarines and then like a wizard or two, and beat a lot of these rushes. But it does not mean that they're overpowered just because you can spam a single tower, it still do pretty good, because they have a lot of weaknesses still. They're pretty darn expensive to get those upgrades. You have to build a lot of other towers around the map to be able to do those advanced intel things. Uh... Free grows, if you spend enough, spend enough money, they still can get through these uh, airburst darts. They're not impenetrable. They still can die from those. And Moebs and BFBs and oh my gods, they're still not very good against them. Yeah, they're okay, but they're still not that great against them. And especially the balloons that pop out of them, they're not able to pop them. All those group balloons all close together like that, submarine just can't deal with them, no matter what upgrade you get. Um, unless you magically somehow afford a first strike ability in uh, battles. I don't think you would ever do that, but if you did, that would just be, be kind of sweet to like defeat a oh my god like that. Especially buy and sell it and buy and sell it and just get rid of those oh my gods. Oh man, that'd be epic. Straight up epic. But that's pretty much it for the submarines, guys. I mean, I don't have too much more to talk about. Um, overall, do I like the submarine? Yeah, I think the submarine's a pretty cool tower. I don't use him that often, but he's still interesting to use. And if I do use him, I can make him worthwhile. I can make him, I can win a lot of games with him. So yeah, I think submarine's definitely a reasonable tower to use. But no, not overpowered and definitely not underpowered. Left-sided upgrade's not really worth it. Right-sided upgrade's definitely the way you want to go. And if you're going to get a submarine, I recommend this is the submarine you want to go with. You want to get a barbed darts, advanced intel, twin gun, airburst tower. So a 2-2 submarine is the way to go with most submarines. You can get more stuff, like the bullet six missile and stuff, but it's really not the best thing to do. He's got some explosions, but not as much pop and power as spamming a couple of these uh, guys. And then usually if you want an, an advanced intel uh, submarine like this, you want to get some other towers spread out throughout the map. Like I said, make sure your advanced intel is being used. You know, you can get... Uh, couple low-level towers or just, you know, whatever the heck you want, spike factories and dart monkeys and glue gunners. Just make sure the entire map is covered up by this black stuff from your towers. And then you can do a lot more damage. For example, you guys saw the Moab earlier. And now look at this Moab. Look at this Moab, guys. This is one single submarine with a few little dart monkeys helping out. Look at that, we're going to take down some of these ceramics and stuff, and we're going to do a lot of damage to this guy. No, we're not going to beat it, but we did a lot of damage to it, and that's the key, guys. This 1-2-2 two, two submarine did pretty much all that damage. And that is it for the submarine. So as always, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day. Hey there, guys. I'm Super John Bumbo, also known as Chris. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the videos. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, or favorite any of them that you want to. Also, we've got a bunch of other cool videos here if you want to check them out. We got just a random video. We got Bloons Monkey City. Or if you want to check out Random Not Series, those are personally my favorite videos to make. Also, we got a new channel here called Super Science. So if you haven't checked out any of my science videos and you just want to learn something, go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a super duper delicious day.